In the previous video, we showed how to use a driver to switch MSS GPIOs and how to control them with an application or from a command line. We also reviewed how to enable GPIO support in Yocto and compile the application directly onto the board. In this video, we are going to explain how to control a basic fabric IP like LSRAM with user IO drivers and how to cross-compile an application on the host with Yocto. Let's see first how to set up the cross-compilation environment. We launch, as usual, the Yocto setup script and open conf forward slash local dot conf file. Here we have to uncomment the SDK machine variable and set it up to the correct value depending on the host machine, in our case x86 underscore 64. We now type machine equals icicle dash kit dash es bitbake dash c populate underscore SDK MPFS dash dev dash CLI. In doing so, Yocto will start building all necessary recipes to create the cross-compilation SDK. Once finished, we can move to the tmp-glibc forward slash deploy forward slash SDK folder and launch the SDK setup script. We accept the default installation folder. Once done, we can use the SDK to cross compile an application. Let's create a new folder and run the environment setup script that basically configure the compilation macros for the RISC-V toolchain. We can go to the apps repositories in the source forward slash accessing underscore fabric underscore lsram underscore using underscore uio forward slash folder and copy the lsram underscore read underscore write dot c application. Then we can create a very basic make file to compile our code. This way, we can compile out of the Yocto tree without the overhead of creating a proper recipe. We can run a make command and analyze the compilation output. We can also verify with a Red Elf tool that the executable has been compiled for the RISC-V architecture. Once the executable is ready, we have to analyze the hardware design. Let's open the reference design and look at the LSRAM instance configuration. We have a 32K word LSRAM mapped through an XI interconnect at address 0x610000000. Now we still have to edit the device tree to add a UIO driver at that address in meta-polarfire-yocto-bsp forward slash recipe dash kernel forward slash linux forward slash files forward slash icicle dash kit dash es. Here we define exactly the LSRAM mapped address space. Now we can rebuild and launch the setup script if we didn't do it before.
After updating the image in the eMMC, we need to transfer our cross-compile application to the board. This time, we want to show how to do this through an Ethernet cable, which connects the board to a router. If the router uses the DHCP protocol, the board will automatically receive an IP address, in our case, 192.168.1.7. Our laptop has 192.168.1.4. We can use a secure copy protocol to transfer the file because the SSH server is automatically launched in our image on the ICICLE kit. We can verify on the board end that the file has been received. Before launching the application, we can use DevMem2 to check if the bus address is properly configured in our hardware design. If everything looks correct, we can now make the application executable and run it. By pressing 1, we can run the memory test and see the output on the console.